Congratulations on your new pop-up purchase. For ease of setup, make sure as you're pulling into the campground to back your wheels up on blocks to level your camper from side to side. Before unhitching from your vehicle, also be sure to chalk your wheels securely. Front to back leveling is most easily done with the tongue jack on the front of your camper. Either raise or lower the front of the camper until it's level from front to back. After leveling your camper front to back and side to side, next crank the stabilizer jacks down on each corner of your camper. It's important not to use these jacks to raise the camper off the ground. They are not tire changing jacks, but stabilizer jacks only. Crank them all the way down until they are just snug with the ground. This will prevent the camper from bouncing and moving during setup and use. Before attempting to crank the roof up, be sure the latches on all four corners of the roof are unlatched. Retrieve the crank handle from the storage area and insert it into the crank. Next, turn the handle clockwise and start cranking the roof. Be sure there are no obstructions around or above the camper that can interfere with the operation of the roof system. Continue cranking the roof until it is all the way to the extended position. You can see this by the green tension cable. When the tension cable is tight, you're done. Do not crank any further. Next, it's time to pull out your bed ends. Simply grab each end and pull straight out. Repeat the process for the back bed. Never force the bed into the out position. If it won't move, check to make sure there is nothing blocking its travel. Snap the safety supports in two opposite corners of the roof. Next, locate the support poles for each bed end and install them first on the bumper or tongue and then, lifting the bed in, slide it into its receiver. Next, install the door. Simply remove the safety straps and allow the door to hang free. Above the opening, twist the safety catch and lift the door out and away from the opening. Next, slide the door outside the camper and into its track, remembering to turn each of the locks to lock the door into position in the frame. On the top of the door frame, there are also two latches to keep the door in position on the roof. Next, Velcro all of your tent material around the door frame on both the inside and the outside. Next, move to each bed end and carefully pull the fabric down over the frame and the mattress. On the corners, be sure to pull the cuffed pocket over the edge and then the flap down to help protect the corners from tears. Next, secure the Velcro underneath each bed end to keep the canvas tight. Install the tension cord underneath as well. Next, swing the galley into the up position. Each bed end is equipped with a pole. Simply insert the pole into the frame at the end of the tent, and then snap it into the corresponding bracket in the ceiling. Finally, set up tables, booths, and other items inside to complete your living space. Your camper is equipped with a 25-foot, 30-amp, 110-volt plug. Pull out as much as you need, and be sure to always plug it into the proper 30-amp receptacle. On models with air conditioning, there is a separate air conditioning power cord that simply plugs into the outlet on the roof line. It's always easier to do this before you crank up the roof. At campgrounds with water hookups at the site, you'll use your city water connection. Simply remove the cap and screw a white RV drinking water hose into the fitting. Next, unscrew your drain line from the sink. Pop-ups do not have gray water holding tanks, so sink water will drain directly from this opening. Please be sure to dispose of the water properly. At the campground end, always be sure to use a brass pressure regulator on the spigot end of your hose. Screw it securely to the faucet, turn it on, and you'll have constant water pressure inside at your sink. In situations where you can't use a water hookup at the site, you can fill your onboard water tank. Simply fill the tank until the water overflows the connector or a vent underneath. The drain for your freshwater tank is generally located underneath the camper below the freshwater tank fill. 
When using this system, be sure to turn on the water pump inside your camper underneath the converter box. You'll also notice that in your camper, one faucet on the sink is labeled your city water connection and the other from the tank. Your pop-up is equipped with a propane tank for cooking, heating, and the refrigerator. Be sure to turn this on before proceeding to any of the next steps. Your refrigerator controls are located in a panel on the side of your camper. To remove, simply twist the locks and remove the cover. On the inside, you'll see your controls for both your gas and your electric operation. First is your 110 volt AC control, 12 volt battery control. To use this, simply turn on the power source desired and set your temperature. It'll take a few hours to get to cool temperature. To use the appliance on gas, turn the selector knob to the high position, press down and hold, and push the igniter to light the pilot light. You can check for a pilot light at the burner assembly by flipping open the side glass and looking for a blue flame. Once the flame is present, you may release the knob. Air conditioning, if equipped, is controlled by simply selecting the mode and the temperature on the unit. The forced air gas furnace is equipped with a thermostat control. Simply slide it to the on position and the temperature desired. To use the stove, simply turn the desired burner to the light position and light it with a lighter, being careful not to burn your fingers. Some models are equipped with an outside propane grill. These use a quick connect propane hookup system. To use this system, simply open the access panel, remove the quick connect propane fitting, plug it into the grill, and turn it to the on position. Be sure to turn the switch off when not in use. If your pop-up is equipped with a water heater, find the water heater access panel on the outside of the camper. Turn the gas control knob from off to the pilot position and push and hold the pilot plunger. Next, light the pilot light at the burner assembly. Once the pilot is lit, you will be able to see a blue flame. Hold the button again for another 10 to 15 seconds and then turn the knob to the on position. Water will be hot in 10 to 15 minutes. Awnings are fairly simple. Pop-up awnings simply unzip from their bag and roll out. Attach the top pole to the corresponding bracket on the roof and attach the bottom pole to the corresponding bracket on the body. Next, simply tension, tighten, and adjust your arms for proper height and tension on the fabric. Now is also a good time to go ahead and pull out your step and also open your entry handle if equipped. Packing up your camper is essentially the reverse of setup. Be sure to remove the door, snap in the safety brackets, loosen all the tent, remove the safety poles, and also don't forget the tension strap underneath the beds. Next, loosen all the fabric and be sure to push the beds in. Again, if the beds do not travel smoothly, stop and be sure there is nothing blocking their travel first. Once you've started cranking your pop-up down, stop about halfway through and tuck in all of the loose fabric. Be sure to push it in as far as you can and avoid bunches. Repeat all the way around the side of the camper. Next, simply crank the lid all the way down to the down position. Continue cranking the lid, retucking the fabric if necessary. Finally, secure each latch on each corner of the camper. Always be sure to double check your work to make sure all of your utilities are disconnected, jacks are up, and everything is latched down before taking off. Happy camping!